How do trains not slip when it's raining or when going uphill? The most important thing here is the law of friction. For trains, the wheels and tracks are both made of steel, and hence not a lot of friction, in fact lesser than cars on roads. So, what helps the trains run faster? The wagons of trains are really heavy, which automatically creates a force between the wheels and the railway. That is also the basic reason why wheels don't slip and easily go fast on flat tracks. Most trains are also fitted with a wheel slip probe to help control slip, and a sander that puts sand on the rail to prevent the slide. But as soon as the train goes uphill, the weight gets distributed, and there is very little friction to grip the track. Therefore, most trains cannot climb steep gradients. Mechanisms like simple rail adhesion, rack rails, and cable incline, help trains to go uphill though the basic rule always is to avoid steep gradients. High-speed railways have stronger makes and more wheels that allow 2.5% to 4% gradient. But for freight trains, gradients should be gentle, preferably below 1.5%. Trains usually have a limit on the maximum slope they are allowed climb. This prevents them from slip and slide while maximizing their speed. Saluda grade in North Carolina, the steepest in the United States has a 4.7% maximum slope gradient. 